Hello everyone, we will continue the topic O data and in the previous videos we started with O data service creation and we finished with first three steps. We created the project, we created the data model, we generated the runtime artifacts and we went into the detailed understanding of those runtime artifacts. Now we will move on to next step and again so many important points will be covered from the interview perspective. Now our next step is implement the service. We all know very well whenever we are using the word implement it means we will write the logic based upon our custom requirement we will write the logic. Now, I will simply, simply move on to this step. Firstly, we will read the theory and then we will go for practical part. Into this particular step, we will write the custom logic based upon our requirement. And in the previous videos, we discussed, yes, whenever you want to write the logic, we have data provider class. We will not write the code in data provider base class. We will write the code in data provider extension class. And we went into detailed understanding. Never write the code in the base class because whenever you will regenerate, SAP will regenerate the code of base classes also. At that time, it will simply override your custom code. So always, always write the code custom logic in data provider extension class. Now the question comes where we will write the logic and we discussed in the previous videos also into this data provider class, we have the various methods. We will write the code into those methods. Suppose if I will go for the system and show you. Now you can see we have service implementation. We'll simply expand this. Now you can see we have five operation. Suppose whenever you want to write the code for the create, you will simply, simply go for this particular method, create entity. Whenever you want to go for read operation, you will write the code into this method or in this method. I explained very clearly. This method is for single record. This method is for multiple record. It returns a internal table. Now, whenever you want to go for delete logic, you will write the logic into this method. Whenever you want to go for update, write the logic into this method. So this is all about our crude operation. Now, what is our current requirement? We want to get the data. We want to get the data from VBAK table. So we'll simply go for this method. Why this method? Because we want to go for internal table. We are not going for single sales order. We are going for multiple sales order. So we'll simply go for this method and write the code. And it is clearly saying, go for extension class data provider extension class now you can see also if i will go for second point the custom logic needs to be written in the various methods of data provider extension class yes depends upon your operation you can write the logic into respective method now third most important point from the interview perspective we will redefine the method and then we will write the custom code. By using the redefined word itself, many people understood those who know OOPS concept. Yes, why, why I am saying redefining of method. So I will go for system. I will show you why, why we are redefining. We will write the custom logic into that method. So I will go to SC24 transaction code. I will go to SC24 transaction code and we will simply go for our data provider extension class. I will go to change mode. Now I will simply go for get entity set method. Yes, we need to go for entity set method. You all know entity set is just like internal table. 
we have this particular method. If I will scroll down, get entity set. Now, if I will double click, if I will just show you this information, it is clearly saying this method is implemented into data provider base class. I told you at that point of time, your extension classes are the subclasses of your base classes. So for this particular data provider extension class, what is the super class data provider base class? So this method, whatever the logic is into this particular method, it is automatically deriving from which particular class data provider base class. But we need to write our own custom code. If I will go for OK, you can see we are able to see the code. So this method and this code is coming from your data provider base class. Yes, but we want to go for our own custom code. We want to write our own custom logic. That's why I told you now what we will do will simply, simply redefine the method. So we are implementing or we are redefining the method into this extension class. See this method is appearing, this method and this code is appearing from your base class, data provider base class. But in data provider extension class, you are want to write your own code. It means we need to redefine this particular method. Then we will write our own code. Extremely important point from the interview perspective. So I will now click on to this button. This is undo redefinition. Here I will go for redefine method. If you want a detailed understanding in a BAP OOPS playlist also as a part of abstract class, I explained this particular method. I explained this particular redefine, sorry. I explained the concept of redefine. Now here I will write the query. Yes, because we want to fetch the data from which table? VBAK table. And if you remember, when we created the data model, we have simply defined five fields. What are those five fields? Select VBELN, ERDAT, ERZET, ERNUM, VBTI. Now I will write from, from which particular table VBAK. Now it will, I will store into internal table. Now in the previous videos, I explained if I will go to into table, you can see we have a parameter ET underscore entity set. It is just like a internal table. It is of this type. If I will double click and show you, I'll go for yes. You can see this is a table type. This table type is referring to this structure and this structure, you all know these are the five columns and we are fetching this. So that's why I'm saying we are going for this particular method. We are storing into internal table. Now I will write ET underscore entity. Now you can understand very clearly why we are saying this data provider class is for the output. We are writing the code because ultimately data will come into this internal table and it is the exporting parameter. Now I will check the syntax and I will activate. So what is the summary of this particular video? Again, extremely important video. Into this particular video, we started with implement the service step. Implementation means we are writing the code. Depends upon your requirement, you will write the custom code. And we discussed whenever you want to write the code or logic, use data provider class. Now, do not write the code in data provider base class, write in extension class. Because if you are redefining the service, nothing will happen to the code which has written in the extension class. Now, we have the various methods. Depends upon your requirement, you can write the logic into that method. In this particular requirement, we'll write the logic in the get entity set method because we want an internal table and our requirement is itself we want to get the data. 
we want to go for this read data operation, read database operation, or you can say crude operation. So we simply went to extension class, but when we double clicked onto the method, yes, the logic is automatically coming from the base class, data provider base class, because data provider base class is a super class of our extension class, data provider extension class. So we need to redefine the method and we read to write the custom logic. And we have written the query into this particular method. And I simply put the data into this internal table. I showed you this internal table is just like a table type. And we have multiple records into this internal table. Now in the next videos, we'll go for further explanations and then we will move on to the next step. So that's it in this video. Thank you.